infinite love. Where to begin? I started my awakening in January 2002. And my life slowly turned upside down. Today, 19 years later, everybody's life is turning upside down. Believe me or not, this is fantastic news. When COVID came, my reaction was, thank you. Thank you, divine. For 19 years, I have been trying in one way or another to awaken first and foremost my family, and then friends and the dental community. I failed miserably. Both of my children were bombarded for a decade with information from my husband and myself. Shortly before my arrest, the government blocked my ability to operate my dental practice by freezing all my bank accounts and preventing me from opening up a new bank account and by extension operating my dental business. At that time I was a big black sheep in major reactive survival mode. I was not at all ready to give up the fight I continued to believe that I would win the fight. In a last ditch survival attempt, I asked my daughter Luba to open up a bank account and take over the financial aspect of my dental practice. Of course, being a good daughter, Luba agreed. At that time, I had no idea of the severe consequences that my 20-year-old daughter would be facing. Long story short, I ended up in jail and Luba faced a $90,000 fine. And because of that, she had to go through the process of declaring bankruptcy. To this day, Luba continues to live the limitations and challenges of the bankruptcy process. These challenges created distancing between my daughter and me. Further, once I was incarcerated and accepted the two-year, four-month sentence in 2012, both of my adult children were then influenced by the family members, their relationship partners, and their friends. I tried to continue to push more information onto my children up until late 2020 when I finally accepted that one cannot awaken a white sheep. Awakening comes through grace. Divine grace decides when a person is ready to awaken. I cannot make awakening happen, no matter how much I love my children and want the best for them. The other day, I saw a post on Facebook of my son's fiance getting her COVID jab. Shivers went up my spine. I still hope that my son will not get the jab. However, I know that this his circle of influence is pushing him in that normal white sheep direction. This morning, Luba posted a video on Facebook stories. Joy came into me as I was listening to my daughter in her strong reaction, rebellion, black sheep energy mode. This confirmation that Luba is awake and in the anger stage is confirmation to me that my daughter will never accept the jab, which will cause a permanent disconnect from the soul. 
I'm in gratitude to the divine. Dies Guy just started a video series with Emily Poel entitled Adies in 10 Steps. Unfortunately, this crucial information is only available in French. I am, however, providing the links to both YouTube channels of Personal Croatia Diaz and Amélie Paul in the description of this video. I am also providing the link to Luba's video and her video is in English. Diaz Guy is communicating to us that more than one year after the start of the pandemic, we must concentrate our efforts on the black sheep because the white sheep will simply not wake up if they have not done so already. On this poster, the seven levels of ascension, it is very clear to see that a person at the ground level of awareness can only see the flowers. If I'm on the second level of awareness, I can see the flowers, the wall, and the tree. The ground floor level person thinks that I'm completely crazy when I tell them that beyond the flowers, there's a wall and a tree. On this poster, an evolutionary path, we can see that the white sheep has no contact with her soul. The black sheep has a slight contact with her soul and the sovereign mare's soul is integrated into its body. It just take, I just talked to my sister on the phone. She told me that she's happy because her daughter will get vaccinated soon and then she will be safe. She also told me that she is already vaccinated. I responded to her by saying that I'm sad to hear this news because she has lost the opportunity to connect with her soul. Of course, she rejected my statement as complete nonsense. On this poster, From Slavery to Liberty, we can see the non-thinking animal plus thought creates the thinking animal. The thinking animal plus free will creates the human being. The human being plus the decision creates personal creation. And personal creation plus a critical mass will create the idesic being on earth. This is our destiny. And this is why COVID is an evolutionary gift for humanity. Without COVID, humanity would continue living the relatively comfortable, unconscious life of the white sheep level of consciousness. On this poster, Fear versus Consciousness, we see that spirit, light, infinite love touches the white sheep because spirit is in absolutely everything in creation. However, the white sheep lives in deep fear in very heavy vibrations. The level of fear is greatly reduced in the black sheep, but the black sheep continues to live in disorder, constantly at war and in subordination. I know this level of consciousness very well because that is what led me to prison. My soul knew that I needed at least two years of incarceration to move beyond this level of consciousness. The sovereign mayor continues to live with a certain level of fear, but it is greatly reduced and under conscious control. The body loses the habit of being afraid. 
I like this picture, taken from one of Personal Creation's booklets, written and published quite a few years ago. Everything is fine. The vaccine has arrived. We are watching over you. Relax. For your security, follow this direction. On this poster, I remember who I am. Guy shows us the I remember key. There is only one sole conflict, separation between me and myself. Please do not accept the job. Humanity is in a monumental dead end. This is an evolutionary crisis. It is the end of the human species. The end of the intelligent animal. Each individual must make the choice to stop participating and nurturing this horrible illusion, which we believe to be our reality. It is time to dream about the next step, the new idesic species. Guy wrote in the Medical Mafia in 1994. Inside of myself is the consciousness of who I am, the unique creator of the whole universe. It is out of love for myself that I am living this earthly experience, the incarnation that allows me to see myself in a mirror. It is out of love for myself that I experiment with suffering, war, sickness, and death. It is out of love of myself that I have created the medical mafia that forces me to wake up to who I really am, the one and only creator of my sickness and my healing. I remember the Mafia is a blessing. The only solution is very simple. I must connect to my true self, my soul. Easy to say, not at all easy to do. Please go into action now and make the choice between listening to your ego mendacious mind and the external authorities or listening to your soul, the internal authority. I consult and offer tools that, so that you can find your individual solution by making contact with your soul. Your soul will then effectively guide you through the upcoming long-lasting turbulent transition infinite love.